There are some incredible online apps to help you understand better the Ocean Gate Titan sub-implosion, but some of these are being shut down, so you better get to them fast, and today I'm going to show you some of them and give you links to them. Okay, so heading over to Sketchfab, we do a search here for Ocean Gate, and we see a number of different models that pop up here. These three were really cool, but this is the one that I really like the most. So you can come in here and play with this 3D model, and this will be a great educational experience here for you. But what's really cool about this here is you can be your own Stockton Rush, because now you can control this from your very own PC. And you don't even need to have your own PlayStation controller. Um, what these are, I guess they sell them for like $25, $30, depending on the model. And they come in these 3D formats like Autodesk, FBX, Blender, GLTF, USDZ or GLB. And you can also, from these databases, you could probably have something fabbed if you wanted to. There's a lot of different people selling models of the Ocean Gate Titan sub, like on Etsy and eBay and other places. See, here's one on Etsy. It's like $40. And it, that looks reasonably close to what the model looks like. So if you just want to have it on your desk or to, to show people what the infamous Ocean Gate Titan sub looked like. Yeah, those are all laser printed models that you're seeing. So anyway, we can, what's really cool about this is you can move this around and up and down and all over. I want to put this on full screen view for us. I think was the most realistic 3d model i've seen yet of the titan because look i mean you can check out the bottom of it the top and the texturing on here and the rendering is just unbelievable and i mean look here even on the skids you know you can see the scuff marks and everything which is really cool and same with the titanium domes how they've got a little bit of wear and tear on them but look at this this is my favorite part right here look at this viewport this glass viewport, I've never seen anything so realistic like this. It's something that you can move around to on your screen without having thousands and thousands of dollars of high-end workstation and software behind it, like what they were doing on you know, Jurassic Park. And you can like zoom into just about anything on here, see, like this. You could, There's your thruster, you can go all the way inside that thing if you wanted to. So what I think is really cool about this too, is as you look at the exterior on these models, look how they got all of the scuff marks and everything. So they really made this uh, as realistic as they could. And including even right here, look at the wear and tear and uh, on the paint and on the letters, how the letters were somewhat worn off a bit too, which was really kind of cool. So what's nice about having this model to view is this gives you a great, idea as to what the entire sub looked like because a lot of times when you're seeing all of these 2d simulations of the ocean gate titan submersible implosion and or just even pictures or even anything i've ever shown you i'm only showing you two dimensions at one time you're looking at it like this from the side sometimes you might see a picture like this but here you can move this thing all around and so what really helps here especially and this is where we'll answer a lot of questions for a lot of you is that you can look at it from the bottom and so what's interesting to note is that when you look at it from the bottom this shows you because the number one question i've been getting from people about when they were bringing the debris up even last year i was getting this question as you recall this was the first section they showed us the picture of when the coast guard released those pictures a few weeks ago to us you might recall this back aft section here that goes to the point, the tail, along with this. And now this rendering here doesn't have it all in there, but there's supposed to be a couple of cross beams on here too, uh, made out of the metal. And so, but the, the question that everybody was always asking us is, how come the vessel imploded, but this part did not? Well, you can see why it did not. and you got to keep in mind there's two parts of this vessel this big gray section this is the the pressurized cylinder this is the only part of the ocean gate titan submersible that is pressurized so this aft end here which has all of the controls they don't show it here but all the controls and and the syntactic foam everything is contained in this back part 
this was not pressurized at all. So when you drop it into the water, there is no tons and tons of pressure against it because there's no air inside of it. It's just all underwater at this point. The air is all contained inside this pressurized vessel. So that's why when this part here imploded and the resulting, if there was a resulting explosion, it just broke all of the skids and everything apart off of here and it sent the domes flying and it popped this completely off of the domes. This entire section landed intact on the ocean floor. So you remember on the, the videos I showed you last month when the Coast Guard released this video showing how they discovered the Ocean Gate Titan on the bottom of the ocean floor, there you'll recognize that entire aft cone complete look with all of the instruments and everything sticking out of it had no problem staying together and what was surprising to me was even the the now infamous dollar store ratchet strap actually survived the implosion and into the resulting explosion and then of course dropping down and crashing onto the ocean floor so uh, i want to find out what model this is and go buy me a bunch of these ratchet straps that's just amazing that they survived all of that which broke apart metal and bolts but yet the dollar store ratchet strap survived that's just amazing and then so here's that now famous view that that i showed you so remember what i just showed you that arch there and these these are the two cross braces that i told you were missing but here you can see where all of the controls are in this entire aft section here even the cables like everything just seemed to survive pretty good there and so this part was never under any type of pressure at all. And then, of course, here's both views at the same time that I put here side by side for you. So you can see here's the underbelly side. And then this right here is the port side view of the cone there with the, with the tight name on there. And so basically during the implosion, all of the fairing panels here were just blown off. Now let's see if we can take a look up the butt crack there. And see what's going on in there. Does it show us? Yeah, you can see a little bit inside. Of course, there's just nothing in there right now. So they're just showing the interior of the model. Now, I also spotted another model they had on here, which is just about as good. And when we look at it full frame, you can see it's just about as good. It doesn't have all of the like scuff marks and everything, but man, when you look at this, this looks pretty good. And they even did a decent job on the lens there. Almost as good as the other one, but they're, they're both very close. So either of these two models, I think it explains everything pretty good for you. You see it there. See, so there's your pressurized hull inside it. They also have the Lars on here as well. And this one, it looks pretty accurate. I mean, look at that. There's the, the details and the texture on the metal there. That just looks incredible. So now you can get a feel for how everything works on here. It's very simplified. There's a lot of features that are not really on here, but it kind of shows you at an overhead glance how these two fit together and how this is the part that when they were going out to the Titanic, because they were on the Polar Prince and not one of the bigger ships that they were normally able to get their hands on, they had to drag this behind the ship for 450 miles. And they did this on four different trips. So a lot of people are saying, you know, this added a whole lot of physical abuse and bouncing around on the waves on to these two here. And in fact, you remember one morning they came out and uh, they were, this thing was half sunk in the water and they were sticking out at about a 45 degree angle. Not very good. And they've also got other various degrees of, of texture going on. So here's another one. So there were some really talented people on here that did these. I don't know what all of this stuff is, but yeah, look at this. But I highly recommend that if you're going to go and check out any of these models and play with them, you do it now because some of these are likely to disappear. So for example, this beautiful one that I was showing you even last year, this one, when you go to bring it up, actually no longer comes up on the website. See that? So that one was taken down and we don't know if the other ones are going to be taken down, maybe either for trademark or copyright or just legal issues or whatever. Ah, but you see folks, I'm smarter than the average bear because last year when I discovered this, I recorded it. So now I have a record of it because it's no longer to be found. 
Yeah. So I will put a link to where I found this particular model, which is only available on the Internet Archive right now, uh, which is, you know, the Wayback Machine, and I found it last year. But the only problem is, is if you go to the Archive right now, you're supposed to see this when you go there. The only problem is here we are on October 12th, 2024, and this is what you're seeing right now when you try to go to that site because they were hacked on October 9th, just a few days ago. And it made headlines all over the world here, the catastrophic internet archive attack. And so it was a Pakistani hacker group or something like that that came in. And so for a while we were seeing a system hacked pop up, but right now we're not seeing anything at all probably because they thought it was best to just take the whole thing offline until they can put the improvements in there that will overcome the hack. So once they get this resolved, you can you can keep checking that link below. Otherwise, I have the only record of it right now. And so here is that record that I made for you. I did this last year. I've actually been putting it off for a year trying to get around to making this video for you. But I just thought this was really cool how they showed this and you can control it on the computer there and this is very similar to what I showed you previously on this same video and you can just see the you can turn it around and then there's numbers on there that you could click and it will tell you information about the different parts of the ocean gate Titan submersible for example here there you're seeing they're showing you the camera so it's a uh, pretty cool the way they did this and you know years ago you couldn't get resolution and renditions like this at real-time speed it was just no way but once it's you know recorded then uh, you can do it so you know you could in investigate it so we'll put the link down in the video description below and if it does ever come back working again on the internet archive if they get back up and running you should be able to get in there and run this and play with it and control it and move it around yourself and everything and you can even bring it right up on the reef so they tell you everything about the fairings on here as well and we don't know who created it because it has been removed but it's a shame because whoever did it uh, that must have been quite a bit of work on their part to make this happen now, I don't know if Ocean Gate commissioned it or not, but it's uh, certainly pretty cool here that you can just click on any little part and it gives you a small amount of information. And you can zoom all the way out to send it off into oblivion. So this would be a way for you to kill a few moments of time if you can ever get at the controls of this. And again, you don't need the PlayStation 2 controller because you can do it right with your mouse, folks. But yeah, the way they did the renditions and the reflections and everything is just really a sweet job on this one. And as we pan around, we can zoom in on that right there, the sonar. Now, in addition to this, you're going to want to binge watch the other videos related to it, starting with this one over here on the Titan sub. And then make sure you check out this other video here on that massive kitchen remodeling I did with the double decker cabinets and the fridge in the 45 degree incredible engineering project. Thank you so much for watching tonight, folks, and we'll see you on the next one.